Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm very well. Thank you for, for asking. Hi, Nelson. Hello. Hi, Nelson. How are you? I am fine, thank you. Oh, nice. It's good to see you one more day. Tell him. Sorry? It's day excellent. Oh, nice. You had a great day, an excellent day. It's good to know. Thank you for, for informing, for telling us, okay? Thank you very much. Okay, it's almost time to start the class, right? So uh, did you work today? Did you work today? Yes. 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 Yes, you did. What about you, Nelson? Did you go to work today? Hello? Did you go to work today? Did you work today? Parece que la internet de Nelson está mala, ¿verdad? I think he has connection problems. Yeah. Do you have connection problems, Nelson? Oh, yes, I think he has connection yes, problems. Uh, just connect and see. It's a problem. Okay. Do you have a problems with your internet connection? All right. Hi, Dinora. Good evening. Hi, Ana Beatriz. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Yes, very well. Hi, good evening. Very well. So, how yeah. are you? Very <coughs> well. Thanks. Nice. Okay, so it's good to see you, Dinora and Ana Beatriz. Welcome to the class. Bienvenidas. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. No te molesta. So, how was, how was your day? How was your day? Almost to was Leah. How was your day? It was good, bad. Dinora. <clears throat> excellent teacher. It was excellent. Oh, nice. It's good to know. What about you, Dinora? How was your day? Fine. Oh, nice. A good day. You had a good day. Nice. It's excellent. Always good. Oh, it's always good. We did the, our day. day? It was excellent. It was amazing. Okay. They say that um, our, uh, our days depend on our attitude, right? If you have a positive attitude, all days are good. But if you have a very negative attitude or perspective, all days are bad or the majority of the days are bad. So we need to have a positive attitude, of course. You're right, teacher. Yes. Okay, so um, let me pass the attendance quickly. Hi, Glory Bell, and Frida, and Abby, Gail, and Juan Carlos Rivas. Hi. <laughs> Hi, here. Oh, nice, yes, I can see you. So okay, I'm, I'm just, Thank yeah, I'm, I'm not passing the attendance, don't worry. I'm just saying hello, okay? <laughs> Póngame igual, ya. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so I will now, I will start passing the attendance, okay? So Alejandro Antonio. Ana Abigail. Here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian Ernesto. Ember. Frida uh, uh, Janine. I'm here, teacher. Yeah, okay. Jacqueline Lisset. Juan Carlos Alas, Juan Carlos Rivas. I here. Okay, um, Eunice. María Elena. Nelson. I here. 
Ok, uh, Mauricio Antonio. Ok, Mauricio. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Ok, uh, Oscar Ernesto. Rocío Lourdes. Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Ok, we didn't see you yesterday, Gloribel. <laughs> Jocelyn Joana. Jocelyn Joana. Yesenia. Jose Galileo. Present teacher. And Dinora. Present teacher. Ok, we didn't see Abigail either. Tampoco vimos a Abigail ayer. So, welcome. Bienvenida, Abigail. Welcome. Thanks. All right, good. So, everybody, uh, so welcome to the class, everybody. So, not only Abigail, so everybody, right? So, welcome, everybody. So, uh, basically, for today, um, we are starting a little early, so which is positive, okay? So let's start with the with today's class. So to start the class, I have six questions, okay? I have six questions. Uh, do you remember what we started at the end yesterday? ¿Qué estudiamos al final ayer? What did we study at the end of the class yesterday? Let's see. The seniors. We, we studied auxiliaries. What else? Auxiliary verbs. Auxiliary verbs, like do and does. Do and does. What else? What else? Come on. What else? Um, okay. Hints. Uh, did we study the use of what, where, who? Yes or no? W A. Yes. Yes. Somebody, yeah, it's what I say. W H questions, okay? W H questions like what? Like uh, what department um, promotes, for example, the, the products, okay? Or what department uh, do you visit on Mondays, for example, okay? Or what do you do? Or where? Okay, where do you live or where do you work? Yes, where do you go on Mondays? Mm -hmm. Or who? Who do you report to, for example? Oh, you say I report to my supervisor or I report to my boss or to my superior. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so we are studying some questions like this. But here I have other questions, which are similar, of course. These questions are very similar. So question number one is, what do you do? Okay, the idea is that we practice these questions using uh, personal information, okay? So for example, in question number one, if you ask me, teacher, or Bernardo, what do you do? Ah, if you ask me, Bernardo, what do you do? I say, yo digo, I'm a teacher, okay? I'm I'm a teacher, for example, okay? Where do you work? If you ask me, Bernardo, where do you work? I say, this is only one example for you, okay? I work um, at, uh, for example, Colonia Las Flores. At Colonia Las Flores, um, then you say um, school, for example. I work at Colonia Las Flores school, okay? And I continue, okay? Uh, so, Bernardo, who do you report to? A quien le reportas, okay? And then I say, I report, I report to uh, the principal, for example. Then, the principal, the principal. Yo reporto al director, anything, right? So, you say, I report to the principal. And then you ask me, Bernardo, when do you check email? Oh, I say, I check email, for example, every day, todos los días, every days. This is in my case, but maybe in your case, you only check email 
on Monday or on Tuesday. Or maybe you can say, I check email twice a week, the best a la semana or three times a week. I don't know. Okay. How many colleagues do you have? ¿Cuántos colegas tienes? How many colleagues do you have? In my case, I have, I have uh, 17, I have 17 colleagues. This is my case, right? But I don't know you, pero yo no sé ustedes. Since this is personal information, okay? Maybe you can say, I have 10 colleagues, or I have 40 colleagues, or I have 50 colleagues, I don't know, okay? So it's personal information. And finally, why do you study English? ¿Por qué estudias inglés? Ah, oh, you say, imagínense que, I say because, maybe, uh, maybe you can say because uh, it's, it's only one example, right? Because it's important, for example, okay? Because it's important. Or maybe you can say, ah, because I can get a good job or because I can get a promotion in my job, or because I can travel to other countries, or because I don't know, okay, you just, I mean, you tell me what, why you study English, okay? So five, uh, six questions, safe preguntas. What do you do? Uh, so, uh, so let's see, uh, what do you do? Where do you work? Who do you report to? When do you check email? How many colleagues do you have? And why do you study English, okay? So please, answer the questions about you. Contesten las preguntas con información de ustedes. Answer the questions yes. about you. Yes, Galileo? Question. Yes, tell me. Uh, when you say colleagues, colleagues, colleagues. Colleagues, colleagues, colleagues. yeah. Mean, uh, other people with your same or same position, or everybody in the company? Mm, I think it's everybody in the company. All the people who are close to you in the, in the same restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So I will leave this screen as an example. Voy a dejar eso como ejemplo ahí. I will leave that as an example. I'm sorry, um, in this case, call, uh, Colleagues is the same profession and co-workers is? Yes, it's the same. Colleagues and co-workers is the same. Ah, okay. Uh, for the ones who are getting connected, para los que se están conectando ahorita, the ones who are getting connected in this moment, um, the idea right now is that you answer these questions with personal information, okay? The idea is that you answer these questions with personal information, okay? So here you have some examples, okay? These examples are about me, okay? About, this is my information, okay? But you need to put your information. If you have any doubts or questions, don't hesitate to ask, okay?
Uh, so please, when you finish, uh, raise your hand, okay? When you finish, raise your hand. So I see who is getting the, this work done. Okay, so Oscar Arnulfo finished. He raised hands already, okay? Thank you, Oscar. So when you finish, go to reactions and raise your hand, please. Teacher, buenas noches. Hello, good evening. How are you? Ah, uh, poquito complicado. Voy manejando, teacher. Solo voy a estar de oyente. Ah, okay. It's um, let me see, Ember, right? Or who is speaking? ¿Quién va hablando? No veo ahí la, la persona. Sí, Ember. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's okay, Ember. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes and then we continue, okay? Two more minutes for this activity to finish uh, writing the answers for the questions. Two minutes. Okay, we have 30 seconds to finish. In 30 seconds, I, I will start sharing the screen, okay? So we have 25 seconds now. Oh, I can see Abigail finished. Thank you very much, Abigail, for raising your hand on reactions. So make a screenshot in case you don't finish, please, because I will stop sharing in a moment. Okay, uh, so time is uh, time is over for the questions. So basically, I guess the majority has answered for the questions, right? So uh, what is question number one? What do you do, right? What do you do? What is question number two? Where do you work? Where do you work? Excellent. What is question number three? Who do you report to? Who do you report to? Sorry, who do you report to? Okay, who do you report to? Very good. What is question number four? When do you check email? 
when do you check email? You can say usually, always, every day, once a week, twice a week, three times a week. I don't know. All right. I check email once a week. I always check emails, you can say. Okay. And what is question number five? How many colleagues do you how have? Many, how many colleagues do you have? Colleagues. The colleagues. Colleagues. The pronunciation is colleagues. How many colleagues do you have? Okay. How many colleagues do you have? What is question number six? We do, we do you study English? Okay, why do you study English? The reason, okay? The reason why you study English, okay? So the question is, why do you study English? You can answer with because, or you can answer with an infinity verb. También, también podemos contestar con un verbo infinitivo. For example, uh, why do you study English? I you say, um, to go to another country, for example, or to go to the United States, or to, to have a better job, okay? Podemos contestar con un infinitivo en este caso, to, to have, to go, okay? Uh, to, ha uh, to have a, a salary, raise, for example. <coughs> to have a raise, para tener un incremento, okay? Okay, uh, so I think it's time for you to go and share your answers, okay? I'll give you three minutes. In three minutes, we will go to breakout rooms and discuss the questions, okay? So we will go in pairs. So you have the chance to, to practice, okay? Uh, Maria Elena, are you going to participate in this activity? Hi, Maria Elena. Christian Lasso? Hi, teacher. Are you going to, oh, you are, are you going to participate yes, in this activity? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, Rocio Lourdes? Christian Lasso, are you going to participate? Van a participar en la actividad para hacer las parejas, to make the pairs. Teacher, uh, I arrived been to my house, uh, pero ya estoy aquí, voy a participar, sí, sí. Okay, you will participate. Uh, Rocio Lourdes? Okay, so let's let's make pairs then. Hagamos Ro pareja. Rocio, Rocio said he has trouble with your sound. Okay, okay. I will take that into account. Okay, so let's go and practice then. Let's go and practice the questions. Eh, bella. Bella. Sí. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Aquí está. Esas son las preguntas. Ok. What do you do? Uh -huh. What do you work? Who do you report to? Uh -huh. When do you check email? Uh -huh. How many college do you have? Y why do you study English? Yes. Colleagues is the pronunciation. How many colleagues do you have? College. Okay. Colleagues, 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 colleagues. How many colleagues do you have? Lo va a responder ahorita, Cristian. Okay, está bien. Okay. 
Eh, le pregunto entonces, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. What do you do? Production controller. Where do you work? I work in Ads Avenue, Las Palmeras, Boulevard Denninger, Antiguo Cusatlán, La Libertad. Ok. Who do you report to? I report a production manager. Ok. When do you check email? I check email every day is important. Okay. How many colleagues? Colleagues ever the teacher? Colleagues. 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 Okay. Colleagues. How many colleagues do you have? I have 15 colleagues. What no, why do you study English? It is very important thing for my work. Okay, okay. Okay, ahora sería yo. Solo deme un minutito para terminar de completar. Okay. Nelson se salió. I sent Nelson to another group. Lo envía a otro ah. equipo porque había otra persona que estaba sola. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. English. Okay. Y aquí no ha pasado nada. <risa> Empiezo preguntando ya. No hay problema, no sé si Rocío ya está lista. No, no, eh, comienzan ustedes, por fin. Ok. Oscar Arnulfo. Hello. I am accountant. Where do you work? I work at the Charge Logistic Group. Charge Logistic Group. Sí. Grupo Logístico de Carga. <laughs> How do you report? I report to direct gerency. Gerency direct. To diary. Why? Hola? Why? Why? Two. Okay. What to time time you day? What is the question? How do you report? How do you report? I report to Gerency. Oh. A la agencia de un solo. But, um, just, just before, just before <laughs> you continue. Check. Maria, just before you continue, um, maybe Oscar Anulfo, when you say gerencia, you, you want to say like uh, one person or different people? Uh, one person. I think you better say manager. 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 I report to the manager or the general manager. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, general manager. Exactly. Okay, continue. Okay. When do you check email? I, I always check email. Okay. You finished. You finished. Okay. Podemos practicar otra vez también, no problema. You can practice again. The more you practice, the better. Entre más practicamos mejor. The more you practice, the better. Okay. English is about practice. It's about repetition. Yes. Continuamos, Loida. That's where Loida. <laughs> no, she's there. <laughs> Sí, 
Okay. What do okay. you do? What do you who do you report to? I report to the immediate bus. When do you check email? I check email every day. How many colleagues do you have? I have one college. What, why do you study English? Because I, it, um, it's very important. Yes, excellent. Question me. Okay. Uh, what do you do? I am uh, a continent. Uh, where do you work? I go Casco Safety. Who do you report to? I report to the general manager. Uh, when do you check email? I check email every day. How many colleagues do you have? I have 11. Why do you do English? Because it's very important. Thank you, Jocelyn. Important. Okay. Omar. Thank you, Omar. Thank you, teacher. Okay, it's important in the pronunciation for <laughs> colleagues is colleagues. 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 No. Con G al G, G, colleagues. College. Colleagues. 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 Okay, everyone, uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to practice uh, the questions. Okay, maybe just uh, one thing. I, w I visited uh, almost all the groups. Okay, I visited almost all the groups. And I could see that the majority has problems uh, in the pronunciation of the word colegas in English, okay? So listen, the pronunciation of the word colegas in English is colleagues, 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 okay? Can you repeat it, please? Colleagues, colleagues. Is with a G. El sonido último es G, G, G. Colleagues, antes de la Z. Colleagues, 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 okay? Colleagues, that's the pronunciation, exactly, okay? So uh, thank you very much. Uh, so I just, I will, I will ask only some of you, okay, very quickly. Okay, let's see, Glory Well, what do you do? I am administrative assistant. Good, uh, where do you work? I am work at Corporation Head. Good, and tell me, why do you study English? Repeat. Why do you study English? Because it's very interesting and important for work. Good, excellent. Thank you very much, Gloribel. Okay, let's listen to uh, Oscar Anulfo. So Oscar Anulfo, uh, what do you do? I am an accountant. Oh, you are an accountant. Who do you report to? I report to general manager. Good, to the general manager. And why do you study English? I need to earn more money. You need to earn more money. Okay, yeah, totally agree. Totalmente de acuerdo, totally agree. Okay, let's listen to Mauricio. Uh, Mauricio, what do you do? I am... Sorry, can you repeat, please? I am a software. Okay. Yes, I can see that. So I will ask you later. I think it's because I don't hear you very well. Okay, let's see, uh, Dinora. Dinora, are you ready? Yes. What do you do, Dinora? I am industrial engineer. 
Good. Uh, how many colleagues do you have? I have three colleagues. Three colleagues. Okay, that's excellent. Three colleagues. Oh, you are very few colleagues. Uh, yeah. Why do you study English? I study English for personal development. For personal development. Excellent. Thank you very much, Tinora. Abigail. Uh, okay, Abigail. Uh, what do you do? I am an administrative assistant. Okay, very good. Uh, and why do you study English? Uh, I study English because of the importance it has at work. Yes, it is very important at work. Very good. Uh, when do you, when, sorry, when do you check email? Uh, check, I check email every day. Every day, yes, as everybody, I think, uh, I mean, it's very important to check email every day. Okay, thank you very much, Javi. Okay, the last one, el último, the last one. Uh, Nelson Gavarrete. Okay, Nelson, uh, what do you do? Okay. Uh, I am a delivery courier. Good. Ah, you are a courier. Excellent. I like. Uh, how do you do it? In a motorcycle, in a car, or in a bicycle? Uh, in the car, in, in car, in motorcycle. A, ah, by car and by motorcycle. Excellent. Good. And okay, let's see the next question. Why do you study English? Repeat. Is the last question. Is the last question. Es la última pregunta. Why do you study English? Ah, okay, okay. Ah, because I like it and I have better opportunities. Oh, to have better opportunities. Excellent. I like the idea. Uh, yes. who, do, who do you report to? Who do you report to? Uh, I take. Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Is who do you refer to? Yes. Who? I refer. Yo... No, no. Así, who? ¿verdad? No. You listen to the question. Who do you refer to? ¿A quién hace los reportes? Who do you refer to? Ah. Perdón. A report to the. Sorry, you report to the. the bus. Ah, to your bus. Okay, to your bus. Excellent. Thank you, Nelson, and thank you uh, for your participations. For the ones who participated, please let's give them thumbs up. Demos le deditos arriba a las participaciones. Let's give them thumbs up. Thank you very much for your participations, okay? Good, um, because you took courage. Good, excellent. Uh, now let's uh, go to the next activity, okay? So listen, uh, for today, for today, we will study the simple past. The simple past. How to speak in past. Como hablar en pasado. How to speak in the past, okay? But first we have uh, some other activities before the, the real topic, okay? So let's go to the first activity. Vamos a la primera actividad entonces. Let's go to the first activity. Okay, here. These are some general questions, okay? So question number one is, what is networking? What is networking for you? Are you good at networking in business events? Do you often share? What is share? What is share? Compartir. Compartir, okay. So do you often, often is a menudo, right? So do you often share business cards going to network? What is network or networking? What is networking? Redes sociales. 
Mm. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not, not in this case. Think about another word. El ámbito laboral. Sorry? El ámbito laboral. Colaborar. Ámbito laboral. Ámbito laboral. So, and thank you very much. Any other uh, translation for networking? Es persona que trabaja en red, teacher. Maybe, maybe. Eh, any other translation? Otra traducción, any other For translation? Example, Sorry? No translate. Alguien que crea redes. Son redes. Son las redes de trabajo. Redes de trabajo. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Another translation? Mm -hmm. redes. de redes. Maybe it's close. Ya vamos llegando. We are getting close. Relación de redes. Close. Cerca. Very close. Relación pública. Sorry, can you repeat it, Sia? Eh, no, ella dijo relaciones públicas, pero a decir relaciones como laborales. Yes, it's close. Ya va llegando. It's very close. Está muy cerca. It's very close. Teacher, que no sería como las relaciones o las redes que yo hago en mi trabajo, o sea, como los contactos que yo tengo. Dentro yeah, de you, now, now you are close. That's right. So networking is contactar. That is, that is the word for uh, networking, okay? What is networking? Contactar. So networking is contactar, okay? Yeah. So the question is, are you good at networking in business events? Son buenos contactando en los eventos de negocios? Are you good at networking in business events? And do you often uh, share business cards when you network, cuando conectan con alguien, when you connect with somebody? Okay? So let's take uh, two minutes and answer the questions. Tomemos dos minutos para responder las preguntas. Take two minutes to answer the questions. So basically, uh, to give you a short definition about networking, so it says in English, uh, networking or network is to meet people, okay, to meet people, conocer personas, or to connect with people who might be useful to know, que pueden ser útiles conocer, okay, personas que son útiles de conocer o importantes, especially in your job, it says. So this is networking, okay, to have a, a, a clearer idea para Para tener una idea más clara, to have a clearer idea. So it's to, to meet or to connect with people. Yes? Teacher, I have, I, I have a concept. Please let me know if is it good. Okay, say. I think uh, networking is to keep in touch with other people. Yes. It's okay. Okay, thank you. It's related. Okay, it's related. Está relacionado. So it's basically to meet people, okay? And to connect with these people. For example, listen to this example. I don't enjoy these conferences or I don't like these conferences, but 
It's a good opportunity to network. Okay, it's a good opportunity to network. That means it's a good, it's a good opportunity to connect with other people, de conectar con otras personas, or to, to know new people, de conocer nuevas personas, okay? To meet new people. So this is networking. So these questions are on page 23. Okay, these questions are on page 23. The questions are on page 23, okay? Teacher. Yes, tell me, Galileo. I don't remember uh, the word people type with one P or two P. Uh, the way people? Uh, what I can write down people. Can people. you tell me, please? Yes, it's P E O P L E. P E O P L E. People. Just, on, just only one P. That's right. Only one P. One okay. P at the beginning and one P at the, in the middle. Thank you. Okay. You don't have to write very long answers for these questions, okay? Just write simple answers.
Okay, are you ready? Can we start? Are you ready to share? Yes. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's uh, let's listen to some participations. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, Frida, uh, Frida, what is networking? Networking. Uh, in networking is to meet people who are important to know for the future for my work development. Okay, excellent. That's pretty good. Good definition. Uh, Frida, are you good at networking in business events? Yes, I'm good at interacting with other people at this business event. Yes, uh, just remember that the, the name of this unit is socializing. So everything is related to socializing, right? Okay, Frida, the last question. Uh, do you often share business cards when you network? No, I don't. I do not share business cards I, if not if my co contact number and my email. Oh, oh you don't have a, a you don't have business cards. No. No, you only give your number and your email. Yes. Yeah, That's enough. That's enough, right? So it's more effective because uh, the business cards uh, they are yeah, <laughs> some Somehow business cards are a little obsolete. Están un poco obsoleta ya with technology, okay? And uh, nowadays we have WhatsApp, right? You only give your number? My, my LinkedIn. Sorry? My LinkedIn. That's right. So we have different social networks, okay, to socialize. Okay, thank you very much, Peter. Thank you for your participation. Bye. Now let's listen to, um, let me see, Alejandro. Are you ready, Alejandro? Yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, for you, Alejandro, what is networking? Networking is making new job connections. Yes, making new jobs connections. Excellent, I like it. Uh, are you good at networking in business events? No, I don't have, I don't have a hard time connecting with, with people. Oh, okay, I got it. Uh, do you often share business cards when you network? No, I don't have business card. That's because I don't share. You don't share. You don't network. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you very much, Alejandro. Okay. Let's listen to. Let's listen to. Um. Let me see. Juan Carlos Rivas. Okay, Juan Carlos. Uh, what is networking for you? Is connect uh, with people. In connecting. The connecting with new people. Maybe you can say in the job or in a conference, you can say, or in a, in a seminar, okay? Or in a meeting, okay? Yes, okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Now let's see question number two, Juan Carlos. Are you good at networking in business events? Yes, I am. Oh, yeah, I, I imagine. Let's see number three. Uh, do you often share business cards when you network? I don't share business cards. Okay, and uh, what do you do? I don't have it. Uh, you, you don't have business cards, but then do you give your cell phone number or your email or what do you do? Email, WhatsApp. Email, WhatsApp, okay, WhatsApp number. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you very much. Okay, Maria Elena. What is networking for you? In my job, um, I also managers, uh, city hall, representatives, families of the communities, um, departmental education, um, and the, no sé cómo se dice, uh, las regionales de salud. How do you say? Regionales de salud. Regionales de salud, but you mean like clinics, como clínicas o? No. No. Es como eh, en, cada, en cada... Sorry? En cada cabecera hay una regional, de, bueno, no en cada cabecera, sino que la región, por lo menos de Para Central, se compone de San Vicente, de La Paz, eh, de Cabañas, y Juntas. Pero es como... 
but it's like administration or uh, it's administration. Ah, then you can... order. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, yes, maybe you can say uh, the administrative offices of hospitals or of clinics. I don't know. Yeah. No, es que no, no es, no, no son clínicas ni tampoco son hospitales, sino que rigen a toda la red pública de esa región, pero no hospitales. Casi siempre son las micro redes y las intermedias. Okay, I have to investigate that because no word comes to my mind in this moment for that. Yes, we'll see that. Okay, we'll see in a moment. Okay, let me know, please, and we will investigate a little bit about that. Okay, let's see uh, next, uh, the next question. Um, are you good at networking in business events? Mm, yeah. Yes, okay. Do you often share business cards when you network? No. No. Mm, uh, okay. In uh, is for Teams, LinkedIn, and WhatsApp. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you for your participations. I appreciate your participations as always. Okay, so uh, let's give them thumbs up, please. Let's give thumbs up to the participations. Okay, to the participants. Thank you very much. Okay, your participations are very important for me. Okay, so thank you for taking the time to participate in this activity. Okay, and now let's go to the next activity. So, in the next activity, I have a conversation, okay? So listen, here in this activity, uh, we will kill two birds with one shot. We will kill two birds with one shot. Vamos a matar dos pájaros de un solo tiro. We will kill two birds with one shot, okay? How? So listen, we will practice the conversation, okay? First, you go in pairs and you practice the conversation in the breakout rooms, okay? And second, when you finish practicing the conversation, you answer the questions below. Van a contestar las preguntas de abajo. You answer the questions below, okay? So these questions are about the, the conversation, okay? The questions are about the conversation. So by now, but now let's repeat the conversation. Repitamos la conversación. Let's repeat the conversation. Okay, so are you ready? Listos? Yes. Okay, let's let's practice. Practiquemos entonces. Let's repeat. Okay, let's start with this one. Did you enjoy the seminar? 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 Oh yes, I did. I learned a lot. 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 Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Okay, let's repeat this part again. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great, so did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. 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 Okay, uh, quick questions. Uh, do you have any doubts in pronunciation? Yes, teacher, with a just, exchange. Yeah. just say that with 
exchange. Okay, so the pronunciation for this word is exchanged. Exchange. Exchanged, exactly. Exchanged. Nelson? Yeah. Yes? Learn, learn. Uh, what's the, la segunda de Janet? Sorry? Hello? Yes, Nelson? Uh, donde está en la segunda, donde habla por segunda vez Janet el, al inicio? This one, esta. Eh, donde habla Janet por segunda vez, le digo. Yes, en esa que surreye, in the one I underline. Eh, yes, yes, ahí, cabal, ¿cómo se pronuncia? It's, I updated. I updated my networking skills. I learned to, make, to move from a small to a smart talk. Updated. Updated. Yes. Learner or, or learner. No. The pronunciation is learned. 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 Thank you. The last sound is d. 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 Learned. Learned. El último sonido es d, d. Learned. Learned. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Okay? So any other? Any other word which is difficult for you to pronounce? What is, um, just questions about vocabulary. What is awesome? Awesome. Asombroso. Okay. Asombroso, increíble. Awesome. You say awesome. Asombroso, increíble. What is, ah, tell me more. Dime más. Dime Cuéntame más. más. Cuéntame sí, más. Cuéntame okay. más. Mm -hmm. Cuéntame más. Okay. Tell me more. Cuéntame más. Tell me more. What is updated? I updated. Actualizar. Actualizar. Yo actualicé. Okay. I updated. In past, right? En pasado. In past. Okay. Uh, what is a uh, small to a smart talk? It says, move from a small to a smart talk. What is that? Any idea? Es como que se mueva de una pequeña a una gran plática, algo así, no sé, no entiendo. Okay, yes, the, yes, it's, it's correct, okay? It says, I learned, right? I learned, yo aprendí. Yo aprendí a moverme de una plática pequeña o corta a una plática inteligente to a smart talk like smartphones okay okay um what is exchange is exchange intercambiar intercambiar so i exchange business cards okay so uh the conversation you see here is on page 23 okay it's in a page 23 this is on page 23 so two activities. So I said at the beginning, so for this activity, uh, we need to kill two birds with one shot. Vamos a matar dos pájaros de un tiro. We will kill two birds with one shot. First, practice the conversation. First, practice the conversation. And second, answer the questions about the conversation, okay? Any, any doubt, alguna duda? It's on page 23. Sign a página 23. They're on page 23. So do you have any question? No? Okay, let's go to work in pairs.
Cleo. Ah, se te ha cortado. Sí, es que yo no sé qué tiene en internet, que cuesta, me cuesta entrar, me saca, vuelvo a entrar. Hoy sí me escucha bien, o me escucha en Ahorita sí, ahorita sí le escucho. Ay. Okay. Vaya. Era la página 23, vea. Yes. La número dos, vea. Listen to teacher, read uh -huh. the conversation. Yeah. Soy yo, Luis, si quiere. Ok. Do you enjoy the seminar? Seminar. Yes, I do. I love it a lot. Tell me, tell me more. Good, a very minor working sky. I live near to my friend and to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make the, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I enjoy business car with them people. Eh, ay, se me olvidó cómo se decía ay, eso. ¿Cómo se llama? Uh, Anson. ¿Y si chat? Anson. 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 For aprendí. Exactly. Yeah, kind of. Yes. Uh, so you say awesome. 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 Okay. Uh, Beatriz, uh, for aprendí, yo aprendí, you say I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. I learned. Exactly. Learned. All right. Yes. I learned. I learned. I learned. <laughs> All right. Vaya, ahora usted en inglés, Beatriz. Okay. Did you enjoy this seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Of... Tell, tell you more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I <coughs> exchanged a look. Let's see. Yes. yes, I did. I exchange, no sé cómo se dice, and change, and change. With cars with 10 people. Uh, so, se me olvidó. Awesome. 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 Grande, claro. Ah, ok. Awesome. <laughs> ¿Cómo awesome. es? Exchange. 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 I exchange. Exchange. I Exchange. Exchange. exchange, exactly. I exchange. Yes, I exchange. Yes, I did. I exchange. Okay. Uh, repetimos o respondemos. No, si quiere, volvamos una más y después okay. eh, contestamos. Puede okay. ser Luis otra vez. Do you enjoy? Yes, I do. I love. I love. Tell me more. Uh, I would have a very good my network. Sky, I learned to move from small to, to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I share business card with them. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Ah, ya se me va a acabar la batería. Vaya, dice choice the answer to question compared with the partner. Did you go to seminar? Me siento que este me ha costado. ¿no? El teacher. Hello. Did El you teacher. finish? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So you practice and you answer the questions. Yes. Oh my God, you're, you're fast. <laughs> <laughs> I practice, Dinora. Okay. I am Luis. Did okay. you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skills. 
I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So, did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. Excellent. Very good. Uh, maybe the uh, in the verb update, in the past is updated. Updated. Updated okay. because it's in past. Updated. Right? updated. Updated. I updated. Okay. Updated. Yeah. Updated. Okay. Only that. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, no problem. Are you in the teacher? Is Jocelyn with you, Nelson? Oh, yes. She just turned on the camera. Oh, I, I es, que me, es que cuando me paso a otra, a otra aplicación, se me apaga la cámara. Ah, okay. I, I understand. It's okay. Don't worry. I know you are always connected. So did you finish or you are still working? Entonces, en la segunda. No, empezando. Ah, en la, en la, estamos en la segunda, en la primera estamos. It's okay. Continue. Estamos discutiendo. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. It's okay. Okay. Vaya, vaya en, la, en, la, en la segunda le pregunto. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. It's good to see you, Juan Carlos. Thanks. <laughs> Con cara de sueño. <laughs> ah, anda sueño, Juan Carlos. He's sleep. Tired, I imagine. Cansado, me imagino. Very tired. Yeah. Nos atropelló el fin de mes. Oh, my God. Exactly. <laughs> ah, yeah. don't, don't worry. You're not the only ones. I am in the same situation. I am running with many things. So it's okay. Don't worry. I am part of, okay. I am, I am part of your team. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's... Uh... Este fin de mes fue horrible, pero bueno. Ah, ahí más. Sí. Teacher, estábamos conversando, eh, perdón, el español, que a la hora de, eh, no en todos los verbos es como perceptible a la hora de hablar el, el, el pasado. De uh, paz. Uh -huh. o, depende del, uh, o depende del contexto. Mm, I, what I feel, maybe in some verbs, uh, you can hear like the ED, right? Like updated, for example. It's, you can mm -hmm. hear it, okay? Updated. But in, in the verb learn, you only mm -hmm. say a D sound at the end. It's like, learned. I learned, 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 D, learned. E but, learned. But, but look, when you say it in context, not even the D sounds, it's a D suena bien minimo, okay? I learned to make. Como zumbadita. Right? Yes, I learned to make. For example, you don't say I learned to make. No, I you learned, say I learned to make I new learned, things. I learned a lot. In the end, I the learned. most the most important in this case is the context. The context, el contexto en el que están hablando. The context in a time expression, in una expresión de tiempo, like yesterday, ayer, or last month, el mes pasado. Okay? So this is important. Okay? Okay. Ya lo vamos a, a, a ver ahorita en un momento. Ok, we will study it in a okay. moment. Yeah. Oh, ok, teacher. Ok. Sí, nosotros practicamos. No sé si practicamos más. <laughs> yes, it's ok. Nos, I want nos to hear you. <laughs> ok. Did you enjoy the seminar? Hoy cambiamos. Yeah. Ok. Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I did. I exchanged a business card with 10 people. Awesome. Nice. That's very good. It's excellent. Okay. Good pronunciation. OK, okay so it's you. fine. So let's go back to the main room. Okay, uh, I can see many of you look very tired today. Hay muchos que se miran muy cansados, so you look very tired today. I think your day was 
really difficult, right? So you had a very busy day. Tuvieron un día muy ocupado seguramente and very tired, okay? So uh, let me pass the attendance quickly. Uh, Alejandro Antonio? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ana Abigail? I think, yeah, she's connected, right? Abigail? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Ana. Con el audio. Ah, okay. Ana Beatriz? Present teacher. Christian Ernesto? Christian Ernesto was connected. Is Christian Ernesto connected? Uh, Ember? Frida Janine? I'm here. Please. Jacqueline? Juan Carlos Salas? I'm Jacqueline. here. Okay. Garcia. Yes, Jacqueline. Jacqueline Garcia, sorry. Jacqueline Nisette. Aquí estoy. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Juan Carlos Rivas? Right here. Okay, uh, Carla, not right. She has never gotten connected. Eunice? Lloyd Eunice? She was connected a moment ago. Maria Elena? Present. Mauricio Present. Antonio? Okay, Mauricio Antonio? Present. Nelson? Omar? I'm here, teacher. Okay, okay. Um, Omar, okay. Uh, Oscar Renulfo? Present. Oscar Ernesto, no, right? Uh, Rocio? Present. Okay, Jacqueline Gloribel? Present. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, sorry, Jocelyn Joan? I'm here, teacher. Jose Galileo? I'm here. And Dinora Alejandra? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so, uh, so let's take the two minutes. Tomemos los dos minutos. Vayan por un cafecito porque veo que algunos están bien cansados. So go for coffee, please. Si toman café, vayan por café. Go for coffee, please. Yes, okay, let's, yes let's, take, acabo. let's take two minutes. Okay, tomemos dos minutos. Take two minutes. No, two minutes. Dos minutos, two minutes. Okay, ya corre el tiempo. Time is running. Okay, we have 15 seconds. Tenemos 15 segundos. We have 15 seconds to come back. Espero que hayan salido a tiempo de calentar el cafecito. <laughs> Un minuto sentí, teacher. Ah, no, I gave you two minutes. Ahorita ya terminaron los dos minutos. The two minutes yeah. are already finished. Yes, Galileo? If I drink a coffee right now, I don't have, I, I don't sleep all night then uh what you can do is maybe to drink a little coffee <laughs> yeah oh my god 
I can see you are a good cook, Juan Carlos. Eres un buen cocinero, entonces. You are a good cook. Que se consumió Creo, el agua. No, es que dice que se, le, que se le consumió el agua, dice. Se le, se le quemó el café. Le creo que ni el cóforo encontró. <laughs> ok. Hey, comenzó la, la clase, la puso, dice. Yeah, and he forgot. Ok, so uh, let's, let's carry on. Uh, so let's see. Just before uh, we check the answers for the questions, I want to hear three pairs, ok? I want to hear three pairs to... Uh, to perform the conversation, okay? So uh, volunteers, volunteers to perform the conversation, to practice the conversation here. Volunteers. Oh, I don't see volunteers today, oh my God. So do I finger, okay, Galileo. <laughs> I didn't get it. Galileo, who is your uh, partner? Yes, uh, Omar. Okay, Omar. Yes. Okay. Okay, hey, man. You are Luis. I am Janet. Okay. Did you enjoy the seminary? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update uh, my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with people. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Uh, so Galileo, is it, is it the pronunciation? Is it update or updated? Ab updater. Updated, updated because it's in past, okay? Thank you very much, okay? So uh, please, everybody, uh, you can go to reactions and you can give them thumbs up. Les podemos dar thumbs up in reactions, okay? So let's give them thumbs up in reactions, okay? Like, okay, go to reactions and give them thumbs up. Give them like, like when you go to Facebook and you give them a like, okay? Good, thank you. Um, so do we have more volunteers? Two more volunteers. Volunteers, Frida, Dinora. I think, Frida, I think, oh, Dinora, okay, Dinora, uh, who is your partner? Uh, no, I don't know. You don't ah, know? Ah, sí, el, el primero en la lista. Who is it? Um, el primero en la lista. <laughs> <laughs> who is el primero en la lista? I ah. am. Ah, okay, it's Alejandro, okay. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my networking skill. I learned to move from a small to a smart talk. Great. So did you make new contact? Yes, I did. I exchanged business card with 10 people. Awesome. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, great pronunciation. So please, everybody, go to reactions and... And go to reactions and... and okay, like their conversation, okay? Like their conversation. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so I think Frida... Frida was turning on the microphone. So do you want to do it? No, estaba pronunciándolo. Ah, ah okay. Awesome. Awesome. It's awesome. Estaba awesome. copiando. Estaba repitiendo las palabras que me copiaron. Yes. No, she was repeating, Alejandro. Okay. She cares about pronunciation. Good. So anybody else? Any other volunteer? I need one more volunteer. Eh, Juan Carlos Hill. Okay, Juan Carlos Alas or Juan Carlos Rivas? Juan Carlos Rivas. Obel. Yes. Go ahead, adelante. Yeah. Okay. Did you, did you enjoy the seminar? 
Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I update my network skills. I learned to move from a small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged exchanges. Esa palabra me cuesta. Exchange business card with 10 people. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Awesome. awesome. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Frida and Juan Carlos. So please, everybody. Go to reactions and go to reactions and <laughs> okay, uh, that's showing that your work was very good. Okay, now let's go quickly and let's check the answers for the questions. Okay, so let's do this together. Vamos a hacer esto juntos. We will do this together. Okay, so here I have um, four questions about the conversation. Okay, four questions about that. The conversation, okay? Question number one. So everybody can answer. Todos pueden contestar a la vez. Everybody can answer at the same time, okay? Todos encienden el micrófono and then you answer. So question number one. Uh, did, um, did Luis uh, go to a seminar? No, he didn't. No, no he, didn't. he didn't. No, he didn't. So the answer is no, he didn't. didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Question number two, did Janet update her networking skills? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Excellent. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Number three, did Janet learn to go from a small to a smart talk? Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. She learned this in the seminar. And number four, did Luis exchange business cards with 10 people? No, uh, no, he, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Who exchanged cards with business people? Janet. Janet. Janet exchanged cards with people. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for your participation. Now, now, pay attention here. Pay attention here because this is very important. Listen. Uh, on the next part for this class, we have the use of the simple past. Tenemos el usado del pasado o el pasado simple. We have the use of the simple past. But listen, this time I am not going to explain. This time I am not going to explain. You are going to explain, okay? This time I am not going to explain the simple past. You are going to explain the simple past, okay? So, instructions for you to explain about the simple past. Instrucciones para que ustedes vayan a hacer su presentación y su explicación. Listen, I will make groups of four, approximately. In the groups of four, you can investigate about the simple past. Or, or uh, you can go to the, to the, to the material, o pueden, ir al o pueden ir al material, you can go to the material, and here you have some information about the simple past. Aquí en la página 24, on page 24, you have some information about the simple past, okay? So you can read the information. Pueden leer la información. You can read the information, okay? So, I repeat. In this moment, you will get in groups of four, and you will prepare a little presentation about the simple past. Van a hacer una pequeña presentación del pasado simple, okay? Pueden usar what? I don't know. PowerPoint. No sé, o por, si no tienen PowerPoint, eh, pueden usar la pizarra de Zoom, ¿ok? Y pueden ir escribiendo en la pizarra de Zoom, pueden compartir pizarra o pantalla. And then you, you, you share, ¿ok? O pueden usar un documento de Word, por ejemplo. I'm just giving you ideas. Solo les estoy dando ideas. I'm just giving you ideas, ¿ok? So the idea is that you prepare a short presentation, like two or three minutes, unos tres o cuatro minutos. Three, uh, two or three minutes, ¿ok? Three or four minutes, sorry. And then, in the groups, en el equipo, la idea es que discutan todos. Everybody will discuss. Y que todos tengan claro el uso del pasado simple. Everybody has the use of the simple past very clear. And, eligen a una persona para que haga la presentación. You choose one person to make the presentation, okay? Yeah? Any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? 
No? Very clear? So don't forget to choose one person to present uh, or to make the presentation, okay? All right, so let's go then to, uh, let's go then, okay, to, to breakout rooms. So please, if you need some help, si necesitan ayuda, pueden hacer clic en el botón ask for help o pedir ayuda, okay? Y e inmediatamente yo me voy del grupo que esté a apoyarles. In case you need any help, en caso que necesiten ayuda, okay? All right, let's go to, uh, to prepare the presentation. Vamos a preparar la presentación. Let's go to prepare the, the, the presentation. Okay. Two, one, 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 two, no, es una presentación. Ah, es que yo sí escuché una presentación. Una presentación explicando el uso del pasado simple. Exactly. ¿Mm? Exactly. Exactamente, exactly. It's mm -hmm. a presentation. You need to prepare a presentation to explain the topic, ¿ok? Van a preparar una presentación para explicar el tema. Uh -huh. o sea, no, no necesariamente una, una conversación. No, no. Que... No. Algo. Hay que investigar. Entonces, el tema. Yes, but you have the you have here on this part, you have the explanation on this chart. En este cuadrito tienen la explicación. You have the but if you want to investigate more, it's okay. You can Google. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yo ando buscando información, pero solo me sale con el guas. Con el guas. Vamos a ver aquí en el chat. Vamos a ver si puedo. Ah, no puedo pegar una imagen. Mauricio. No te escucho. Eh, tú que estás ahí. Debes ir a File. A Oscar Anulfo. Si quieres agregar sí. una imagen, ve a File. Ahí está un, una pestañita que dice File. Y aparece como una paginita. Ahí en el chat. Ok. Hace clic ahí y te aparece subir de la computadora, por ejemplo. Your computer. Abajo al final aparece tu computadora. Cuando hace clic en File. ¿Ya? Thank you. Ok. Y luego vas a tu computadora donde tienes la imagen. Well, where you have the, the picture. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Vamos a ver. Guardar. Esto es. Okay. Ah, ¿cómo lo tengo? Sí, 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 sí. Sí, 
Mira, ah, solo que revisen aquellas, allá en aquellas canastas. Ahí, ahora. En, caja, en aquel volado. Ahí están unas cosas. Después ¿verdad? podemos poner como la ahí, definición. Ah, en la cajita. Ah, allí puede que tenga. O adentro de esas cosas, mira. No, de aquel paradito rojo que está de, de repuesto aquí al final por el reloj. Ese botecito, ese. Ahí puede haber que haya. O en el otro, en alguno de los dos. The simple past de... describes uh -huh. past events. Ahí me van diciendo cómo se escribe. Describes y y ese falta. Uh -huh. No solo la S en la I. Escribe. Después de Past escribes, no. Event. Probar entonces a ver si te funciona, porque yo creo que está bueno. Esa es la definición. <risa> ah, el peso ya lleva rato. Lo... Esa es como la definición. Ajá. Uh -huh. De ahí ponemos regular verbs, quizás como en un cuadrito a la, a la izquierda. ¿Aquí? ¿Aquí? A la izquierda. Ajá, y por ahí. Y para abajo, eso. Eh, use the verb. Use the verb in the guión ¿Qué? Un guión Ajá E de No, E de O sea, los regular verbs Los terminan En, en E de Ah, E de Ajá Espacio uh -huh. Otro guión y de solo la de no solo la de y de ahí la palabra form in which program are you working the presentation word ah okay Yeah, I'm asking. So in case I, I, I close, en caso de que cierre, le cierre los grupos para que no se le vaya a desaparecer. So it doesn't disappear, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. sería verbos irregulares? Irregular verbs. Uh, pero hay que ponerle que eso es para los positivos. For positive sentences. For. Por los ejemplo, que ocupamos en la. Wanted, wanted, stay, working, software. Mm -hmm. Sí, básicamente los verbos regulares son la mayoría, pues. Sí, los, los irregulares, yo tengo entendido que son los que terminan en. En Y, pero no sé si hay alguna otra regla aparte de eso. Por ejemplo. Guante. ¿Así? Yes. ¿Qué otra? Se lo voy a copiar al, al chat. Esto lo he colocado. 
is Rashid Veda. Okay. Se los copié, Frida. Ya, ya, sí, gracias. Ok. Podemos poner el verbo eh, en su modo natural y, y luego el verbo en, en pasado el simple. Pasado. Teacher is correct presentation. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. okay. You're doing great. Lo van haciendo bien. You're doing great. The idea is that you study by yourselves the simple past. Que estudien por sí mismos el pasado simple. Okay, that's the idea. Bye. Otra. For the regular, right? Ahora vamos con la contraparte, los irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But for irregular verbs, in this case, I think it's like. Like. Y la es. ¿Qué va? Irregular. Ahí, ahí, ah. ahí. Irregular. Pero... Ok. Y ahí podemos poner lo mismo. Lo mismo que, que se colocó arriba. Yo ahí. Bueno, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Adelante. Yo ahí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahí, ahí, ahí. No sería I. E -D. I -E -D. I -E -D. I -E -D. I -E así uh -huh. or solamente I -E -D, o se, o se, o cómo es perdón sí solo el pasado siempre solo se agrega I -E -D. para para los verbos irregulares en pasado siempre solo se le agrega I -E -D. No, Juan ah, Carlos. No, cambia, cambia, no, cambia, 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 el, cambia verbo. los verbos, tienes razón. Entonces, Maybe. En este caso, para, Hello. 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 Hello, sorry for the interruption. Estoy con... Estoy maybe, maybe, maybe there is a, maybe Juan Carlos is confusing uh, the rules. Con lo, the con, rules, con los verbos que terminan en I, en, en I, uh -huh. en I, yes, yes. The, the problem is that you are thinking about the rules for the regular verbs. Está pensando en las reglas de los verbos regulares y está bien. Los verbos que terminan en Y, les quitamos la Y y les ponemos IED. Pero esos son regulares. Those are regular. Solo es una regla nada más. It's a rule only. Por ejemplo, el verbo study, que termina con Y precedido por una consonante. Si queremos pasarlo a pasado, if we want to pass it to pass, le quitamos la Y y le ponemos IED y decimos study. ¿Ok? So maybe that's your point. Tal vez ese es el punto que tú quieres dar. That's the point you want to, to share. Sí, pero sí, en este sí, caso. Se me había confundido. No, no, pero está bien. Este, eh, es bueno que lo resalte porque en este caso hablamos de las reglas para conjugar verbos en pasado, verbos y verbos regulares en pasado. ¿Ok? Porque hay algunas reglas para conjugar verbos en pasado. No solamente agregar la CD, la ED o la D. ¿Ok? Uh, freeze, froze, frozen, get got, gotten, keep, get given. Uh. Entonces, en los verbos regulares, ¿se las agrega D o ED? O ED, y en los irregulares cambia. Y en los irregulares cambia el verbo. Es verdad. Entonces, pero es a, a different word. Sí, con otro. De ahí que ver. My father. Sí, con otro. Vamos a ver si llega aquí. My father died last year. 
Dahil. Dahil. My father died last year. Okay. Uh, Esas son preguntas. No. No. My father died last year. It's, it's presente, sí. Uh, digo. Uh, Pero el di. El died. Es murió. Mi padre murió. Es pasado, perdón. Es pasado. La, la, esta es pregunta. El auxiliar va para las preguntas. Did you make new contacts? Contacts. Eh, my father died last year. Es una afirmativa. Eh, pasado simple. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más podemos poner? Uh -huh. El river. El bigote se tira. ¿Cuál? We the ride the river. river. We, I'm sorry. We get <laughs> no, cross, it. cross, cross, it. We cross, it. I see. On set, see. The ah, I see. No, no. Um, but then I have got a T. We cross. De pensar or cross. Eh, cruzar, cross it, cross, y cross. Ah, cross it, cross it, así. Yes, the river. The river. Ni una letra, una letra, ni una letra. ¿Cómo? In a boat. The last week. On, on a boat. On, you say on, on a boat. Cross the boat. river on a boat. Okay, uno más y nos ganamos ese 10. Yes, definitely. Did <laughs> eh, we buy the dinner? No. Did we buy the dinner? Did we buy. No, buy the dinner. Uh -huh. de... Did we buy the dinner? Dinner. Compra, compraste la cena, ajá. Ahí está, vaya, listo. Bullet. Gracias, Bullet. Jacqueline, María, Alejandro, Antonio. El bullet. Póngale el el bullet. 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 Es una pregunta, lleva el día auxiliar. Eso lo hace pasado y el verbo no. no exacto, se exacto. Como es pregunta, el verbo no se modifica. Porque es una question. Ya, ya, ya. Gracias, Alejandro, María, Jacqueline. Gracias. Bye. Okay, um, well, um, I know you have, I know some haven't finished, okay? Yo sé que algunos han terminado, so don't worry, no se preocupen, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, so listen, uh, don't, don't, don't be like working right now. I just have a question. Um, we still have 10 minutes. Aún tenemos 10 minutos para, prepara, para prepararnos. We have 10 minutes to prepare. So uh, I think Jose Galileo's uh, team finished, right? Yes, but you don't know who is going to present. No saben quién va a presentar. No, so not, yeah. not, you didn't decide. Okay, it's okay, no problem. Um, uh, may, uh, may I? No. Okay, hold on, hold on a second. The I, okay, so I, I, I was really, uh, really happy to see how you were discussing, okay? How everybody was discussing. Me gustó como todos estaban discutiendo, okay? At the end here, I mean, or the, the purpose of this activity is that you discuss in the groups, right? And that by that, through the, through the discussion, a través de, de esa discusión, through the discussion, that you learn about the simple past, que todos aprendan del simple past, okay? Good. So you, we still have, um, I will give you seven more minutes. Le daré siete minutos más, siete minutos más. I will give you seven more minutes, okay? So in the case of Galileo, because I know your team finished, yo sé que su equipo terminó, pero vayan otra vez y todos deben estar listos para presentar. Everybody has to be ready. Ustedes van a decir, you will decide. But everybody has to be ready, pero todos deben estar listos. Todos deben saber del tema, ¿ok? 
en caso que a mí se me ocurra elegir a una persona del equipo, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. So the same for all the teams. Lo mismo para todos los equipos. Choose one, elijan a uno, pero puede ser que se me ocurra elegir a uno del equipo a mí, ¿ok? It's, that, that's possible. Eso es posible. That's possible, ¿ok? Ya, yeah. so we will go back to the group, to, to working teams again. Vamos a regresar otra vez entonces. And I will give you seven minutes. Le voy a dar unos seis o siete minutos más, ¿ok? Good. Now listen. Um, ahorita para que vayan al grupo que estamos, nos voy a dejar decidir al grupo al que van a ir. Ustedes van a elegir. El grupo de Abigail, Dinora y Juan Carlos Rivas van a ir al equipo uno. Cuando les ponga ahí la opción, hacen clic en el equipo uno. Beatriz, Mauricio, Oscar y Jocelyn, equipo dos. Frida, a Juan Carlos Salas, Omar y Rocío, Grupo 3. Alejandro, Jacqueline, Galileo, Gloribel, María Elena, Group Number 4. Van a elegir el grupo número 4 para que vayan otra vez con las mismas personas. ¿Ok? Ya. Yeah. I will let you decide. Lo voy a dejar que ustedes escojan el equipo. ¿Ok? Y van a ese que yo les dije, por supuesto. Go to the one I told you. ¿Ok? Ready? ¿Listos? Ok. Please go to your group. Vayan a su equipo. Go to your group, please. No me sale Which group, Nelson? ¿A qué equipo es, Nelson? Uh, number one. Okay, let me send you. Yo te envío. Thank you. Okay. Me quedo de parranda, pero... Se equivocó. No, no me cayó la solicitud, entonces oh, el claro, que me enviara sí. al number one. No, hombre, no borró. me cayó, la, no me salió, el, se me borró. Ok. Estamos lo siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a definir el, el, el otro de... Mira, ahorita Abigail va a compartir la pantalla otra vez para terminar. Ok. Gracias, Abigail. Que no ve que se este guardó este guard en ima como imagen y ya no se puede editar. Bueno, <risa> Me va a tocar volver a hacerlo. Bueno, bueno, pero este, tal vez es lo, lo, bueno, este... Yo lo escribí en el cuaderno, lo que habían hecho, lo que usted ha hecho. Okay. Yo trabajo en un cuaderno. Se lo podría decir. O lo vamos a dejar si así. No porque mucho. si lo vamos a dejar así. No, Ay. porque faltaban bueno. los verbos irregulares. No faltaba, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. um, irregulares. Uh, sorry, sorry for the interruption. Maybe what you can do, tal vez lo que pueden hacer es si ya tenían los regulares en esa imagen o en ese, no sé qué tipo de documento que estaban trabajando, déjenlo así y vayan a trabajar uno nuevo, ¿ok? Y comparten una imagen y luego comparten otra imagen. ¿En qué programa están trabajando? ¿En qué programa estás trabajando? En la pizarra lo había hecho. Ah, Yo creo que en Paint. Ah, porque... te guardo. Creo que, creo que en Paint lo estaban haciendo. Sí, sí, vayan, vayan a trabajar otra vez a Paint o a la pizarra, no sé dónde lo estaban haciendo, hagan la segunda parte y presentan dos partes, no hay problema, there's no problem, ¿ok? Ah, ok. okay. O de pueden aquí, pegar. Mr. Gavarrete va a ser el teacher. Ok, perfecto. Decidido ya. Sí, ya, Bien. ya se definió. Decidido ya. <risa> ok. Lo que voy a hacer. Quiero ver. Ok. Ay, me abre doble sesión Abby, ahora es tu turno, ¿verdad? ¿O no? ¿O me equivoco? No, Voy a ver ahorita Quiero Mañana, regresar a eso eh, Porque antes de ello iba yo oh, El sí. jueves viene me toca el viernes Ah, Ay. ahora le toca a Jacqueline Le toca hoy, a Jacqueline ah. Lisset Sí, porque creo que a mí me tocaba Después de Juan Carlos 
Después de, según el dato que tengo acá, sí, mañana te toca a ti, Abigail. El viernes, ah. le, el viernes le corresponde a Juan Carlos, ¿ok? Ok, hoy vengo yeah. con más dudas que... <risa> tipo 12, tipo 12 así, que, va a ir. así que hoy tipo 12 vamos a terminar so I have to get ready, tengo que, que prepararme entonces, so I have to get ready <risa> sí, teacher okay. definitivamente no teacher. <risa> voy a procurar depende de que venga vaya, vaya démosle entonces démosle. Lo voy a compartir aquí. Vamos a ver. Ok. Entonces estarían ya los irregulares, ¿verdad? Porque tenían sí. irregulares, ¿verdad? Solo para terminar eh, y después poner ejemplos de ambos. Pero es que dijeron que. <risa> sí, lo dejé por Carlos. Pues. Simple. <risa> y de ahí está. Phone. phone. No, U, uh, falta la U, después de la U. Wow. Uh, quiero ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. Uh, en poco tiempo podríamos poner mejor ejemplos ya de, de bueno, ya pusimos exam, eh, un ejemplo de, de regular verb, ya pusimos ejemplos de irregular, entonces ahí pongamos ejemplos de, de negative. De negative uh, question. Question sentence. Entonces, sentence, sorry. Entonces, for question and negative sentences, you have to use the auxiliary did. Sería, did you? Have. Please, did, did, did. N apóstrofe N eh, T. Okay, for, for negative. Ah, no, pero es, es, lo que está haciendo Frida es, es, es por, por pregunta, ¿verdad, Frida? Ajá. Uh -huh. O sea, que tenemos que. Uh, did you. Did uh -huh. you not. Entonces, en todo caso. For, for negative sentences, you have to use the auxiliary al principio. Tengo entendido, ¿no? Uh -huh. yeah. Entonces, did you have. O did you. How did you finish the, the you, presentation? ¿Cómo dirías? ¿Terminaste tu presentación? Finish. Did you finish? Did Tengo entendido que la, que, la, que la forma del verbo no cambia. En, no cambia en la pregunta. En pregunta. Do you finish the presentation? presentation. Sería, ser, do you finish the presentation? Sería una... Ok. ¿Qué otra? Sería eh, el negativo de, eh, o la respuesta. ¿Cómo? Negativa de esa. La respuesta negativa a esa pregunta podría ser: No, no, I didn't, perdón. I didn't. didn't. No. I didn't. I, I didn't. ¿Dónde está la foto? No, al revés. I I did not finish. Ok. Ah, ok. Excelente. Gracias por ¿Va otra? Did mm. you enjoy the seminary? No. Seminary, así. No, es hasta la R. Yes. No. I did not enjoy the seminar. ¿Así? No, porque como estamos hablando de, ne de ejemplos negativos. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Ok. Digo yo que si fue un seminario, tuvo que haberlo disfrutado, ¿no? Digo yo. Ok. okay. Y otra es, do you make new contact? Did you? Did, Did you, you make? 
new contact. Yes. No, porque estamos hablando de negativas. No, I did not new contact. ¿Está bien, teacher? Yes, it's okay. It depends, because here you are giving a long answer. Aquí están dando una respuesta larga. Pero como la pre... Ah, Pero sí. Es... No, nos quedan 32 ah. segundos, captura, por favor. Como la pregunta es cerrada, podría ser, uh, no, I didn't, solamente. Ok. Oh, yes, I did. No. Or yes, I did in positive. Exactly. Right. Because it's a otra... close question. Es una pregunta cerrada. Yo le, tomé a, yes, yo le tomé a esa, Frida. Si quiere, cambie la otra. Right. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Pásamela, Juan Carlos. Okay, I will pass attendance quickly before you go. Uh, Alejandro Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Um, Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Present, teacher. Okay, Ana, Ana Abigail. It's okay, I put it already. Ember. Frida. Frida. Wait, sorry, I'm here. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, Jacqueline Lisette. I'm here. Okay, Jacqueline, ahora te toca la private, la, la sesión uno a uno. The session one on one, okay? Juan Carlos Salas. Carlos Salas. Is that present? Uh, Juan Carlos I'm Rivas. Here. Ah, okay. Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. Eunice no se pudo conectar, ¿verdad? Uh, María Elena. Present. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Nelson. I'm here. Omar. Present. Ok. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto, no, right? Rocío. Present. Jacqueline. Present. Uh, Jocelyn Joana. I'm here. Galileo. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, it's okay. And Dinora. Okay. Okay, uh, okay everybody. Uh, we are a little late. So um, I think everybody's ready, right? Tomorrow, tomorrow we will do the presentations, okay? Mañana vamos a hacer las presentaciones. So you have time to prepare. Tienen tiempo para prepararse, okay? Uh, I think I will choose the person. Como van a tener más tiempo, yo voy a elegir la persona. I will choose the person to present, okay? Yeah? So we will have only four presentations and that's it. Solo vamos a tener cuatro presentaciones, okay? Yeah? For tomorrow, okay. para mañana. For tomorrow, okay? So uh, everybody, thank you very much. Ana Beatriz, do you have any questions? No? no? No. Okay, do you have any question before we finish? Okay, everybody, thank you very much for connecting today. Solo se me queda Jacqueline. No Jacqueline Glorivel, Jacqueline Lisette, okay? Jacqueline Lisette. And the rest, you can go, all right? So thank you very much for connecting. Good night and take care. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Yo creí en que ya iba a ir a dormir. Ajá, no es a las diez y media. <laughs> I'm kidding, no es cierto, I'm kidding. So this space is for you, Jacqueline. So um, if you have any questions, you can tell me now. Ahorita andaba buscando el... Se me perdió la hoja donde lo tenía. Oh, my God. Ay, que la hice. Era lo mismo que estaban hablando ahorita del... Del, el pas. del verbo paz. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cuando hacemos las preguntas, si no iría en, en pasado, solo sería que cuando sea la respuesta. Exacto. O sea, uh, en este caso, voy a preguntar a... Uh -huh. 
Okay, so basically, um, so we have in, in mainly when we study tenses, we have three forms. Tenemos tres formas cuando estudiamos un tiempo verbal. Okay, we have three forms. Uh, form number one, la forma número uno es el positivo. Luego tenemos el negativo. Y luego tenemos la forma en pregunta, ¿verdad? Cuando estudiamos un tiempo verbal. Como en este caso estamos estudiando el past, el pasado. We are studying the past. ¿Ok? El pasado simple, the simple past. In positive, en positivo, el verbo va en pasado. For example, you can say, I updated. Updated, el verbo va en pasado. Updated my uh, computer. I updated my computer um, today, for example. Yo actualicé mi computadora hoy. Hola. Sorry, Jacqueline. Do you hear me? ¿Me escuchas? Sí, hoy sí. Se había quedado congelado. Sí, es que se me fue el, el internet y me desconectó, pero ya estoy de regreso. I am back. Okay, so I was telling you. Ya. Eh, Ya me iba a conectar yo a dormir. Oh, Dios mío. My goodness. Ok. Sí, lo que te decía. Si básicamente en el simple past, en unos tiempos verbales, en este caso en el simple past, um, tenemos lo que es, we have, lo que son tres formas, ¿verdad? We have three forms. Tenemos tres formas. Tenemos la forma positiva, la negativa y la pregunta, como en cualquier otro tiempo verbal. Y te estaba dando un ejemplo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál era el ejemplo que te estaba dando? Se me olvidó a mí. I forgot. No, en eso no quedó porque ahí se trabó. Ajá, el, el ejemplo era I updated. Ok, te decía que el verbo va en pasado, en el positivo. I updated my computer. Ok, my computer uh, today. Ok, I updated my computer today. Yo actualicé mi computadora hoy. Este update, como el ejemplo está en positivo, va en pasado. Ok, si es en negativo, voy a, voy a decir didn't, I didn't, o yo no, lo en pasado. Y el verbo, como ya uso el didn't, va a ir en presente, como ya, ya estoy usando el didn't, ok. Ya no le pongo de al verbo, mira, lo uso en presente. I didn't update, yo no actualicé y luego lo mismo. I didn't update my computer today, ok. The same for the question, lo mismo para la pregunta. Para la pregunta voy a usar el did como un verbo auxiliar. Did, ¿ok? Y la pregunta sería, did you update a uh, your, sería aquí porque ya es tu computadora, ¿ok? Your computer today, actualizaste tu computadora hoy y vas en pasado. Uso el did, así que el verbo ya no debe ir en pasado. In conclusion, en conclusión, in conclusion. Solo en la forma positiva es que ponemos el pasado del verbo. En la forma negativa, no, porque usamos el didn't. En la pregunta, tampoco porque usamos el did, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Estamos? De eso más o menos me acuerdo. Ok, very good, muy bien. Ya lo había, ya lo había estudiado antes y, y más o menos tenía la noción. Ah, ok, perfecto. Aquí tal vez en, en esto que veo, ahora que eso estamos viendo, quizás hay algunas palabras que sí, no sé cómo, cómo pronunciarlas. Ok, tell me, dime. Learn. Ah, en pasado, los verbos en pasado. Es learn. Ah, pero en pasado, ¿verdad? Learn. But in past, sí, sí, en pasado. Sí. Te voy a compartir aquí la, la presentation para que podamos ver los verbos eso tú me dices cuando termina ed es como que terminar en t ajá no en d me pronuncia es, esa d esa d que está ahí por ejemplo esta se pronuncia como d esa ed como d d d como una d d solo la d no vamos a decir por ejemplo learned no decimos learned learned Learn. Ajá, learned, learned, ajá, learned, learned, ajá, no learned, es learned, learned, ajá, exacto, y en learned. la de, ajá, y cuando terminan en t, d, este termina en t, e, d, mira, en pasado, vamos a decir, 
Tid. Tid o read. Tid o read. Ok. Por ejemplo, updated. 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 Así como dedicated. ¿Te acuerdas de la dedicated? Dedicated, dedicada. Ajá. Ajá, y siempre ese read. Read. Dedicated. Read. Updated. I change it. Ajá, y aquí que sería con D también. Una D es la que suena. No, va, no voy a decir exchange it. No voy a decir exchanged. 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 Exactly. Exchanged. Exactamente. Ajá, exactamente. Y no sé si habían otros en la conversación. Vamos a ver. En la conversación no, que vimos. Se... Ah, eran los mismos. The seminar. Así, ah, seminar. Ajá. Yes, I did. I learned a lot of tell me more. I updated my networking skill. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So I did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanges. Exchanged. I exchanged. Exchanged. No exchange it. No exchange it. No, sería exchanged. It changed. Exactly. Business. Business cards with 10 people. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Uh -huh. Yes. Awesome. Muy bien. Very good. Okay. Sí, es que a mí me ha costado conectar, entonces en algunas cosas voy perdida. Yes. Sí, así he estado viendo que al principio como que no te conectaste muchísimo. Casi que tres días, pero es que vengo muy tarde. Entonces ya un día venía con mucho dolor de cabeza, otro día venía súper tarde. Me imagino. Sí, pero a veces Entonces aunque ya llegues... se me había complicado un poco más a mí. Sí. Creo que ni he terminado ni la de esta semana y creo que ni terminé la otra. Eh, según estaba viendo como que ya ah, solo tenía 40. una duda con la de ayer porque estábamos viendo que decía a donde dice hola hola a dónde dice a donde dice la de ayer estábamos haciendo pero yo no sé si al final estaba bien porque así la así la, la terminé Mm -hmm. um, they use a refresh and live and fix, her enjoy and travel. Todas eran con at. Ok, Eso let me see. La duda. Es en la actividad en la página... donde estaban los products, services y la industry, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Sí, en la página 20. Yes, I am there. Ahí estoy. Sí, sí, porque estamos hablando del, de la compañía. En, por ejemplo, ese at significa en. Add refresh and leave, ajá, en refresh y leave, que es la compañía. Ajá. Es que yes. Yo había puesto, por ejemplo, enjoy and travel, había puesto I enjoy and travel. No, 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 no. No, 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 I, porque enjoy and travel sería la. Add. El, ajá, sería add, sería la compañía. So you say add, enjoy and travel, we. Uh -huh. Ajá, we. Ajá. Oh, this. The Turing's Industrial. Ok. And then, y la otra yo había pensado at Business Bank with this, this. Ay, ¿cómo se dice? Distribute o oh, this. No we sé distribute. Cómo se distribute. Distribute. Distribute the, fin, the finance industry. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y la uh, otra era. Y la otra era. Dice a uh, the sun resort we destroy the beauty and personal care industry. Es que mi duda era saber si lo que o no, comprender. No, no. Vaya, 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 escucha, vaya. Lo primero era en la primera parte y vamos a poner eh, lo que es el product o el service que estaba en la primera columna de la cajita que estaba ahí arriba. Ok, Ajá. entonces para the sun resort uh, sería si es, por ejemplo, eh, de, perdón eh, en fix and care ok, sería, por ejemplo o oh no, let me see ajá, the sun resort, estamos en the sun resort we distribute, ¿qué me dijiste? 
Dice at the sun resort, we distribute the beauty and personal care industry. Mm -hmm. Pero no estaba bien. Mm, creo que ahí está mal la industria, porque sun resort es como. Es como la playa. Ajá, exactly, exactly. Sería, podría ser maybe. Uh... Ajá, uh -huh, in the, ajá, uh -huh, guided tours, vaya. Pero el servicio sería guided tours, tours guiados. Entonces la oración quedaría. At the Sun Resort, we distribute, o nosotros ofrecemos, tal vez podría ser, we offer. We offer um, guided tours, ¿ok? Que sería el producto o el servicio. We offer guided tours. Y luego en la otra oración, ¿en qué industria estarían los guided tours? De acuerdo al ejemplo, a, la, a la actividad que hicimos. Estarían sí. en la tourism industry, en la industria del turismo, ¿verdad? Entonces okay. la segunda parte quedaría, we are in the tourism industry. ¿Serían dos en una oración? No, sería el producto. ¿O es una sola? El producto en una oración o el servicio y en la otra oración la industria. Repito, quedaría de la siguiente manera. The, at, at the Sun Resort, we offer guided tours. Punto. Ahí ponemos un punto, así como está el ejemplo. Punto. Period. Y luego, we are, nosotros estamos, we are in the tourism industry. Estamos en la industria del turismo, ¿ok? Ah, uh, ya entendí. Ok. Uh -huh. Así de esa manera va todo. Ah, ok. Por yeah. lo menos para... Para terminar lo demás. Momento. Sí, como para medio terminar lo demás. Ya, yeah, it's ok, está bien. Ok. Bueno. Yo creo que ahorita es lo que tengo más, más o menos refrescado. Ok. Uh -huh. Permítame. permítame. Uh -huh. Para, por lo menos para ver si puedo llenar las anteriores. Uh -huh. Para practicar, es practice. Sí, para practicar porque no lo he llenado. ¿Para yeah. qué mentir? Y, hay que, y, si, y si tienes 40% en la primera semana, eh, al final siempre da un espacio para poder hacerlo otra vez. La idea es que todos pasen, ¿verdad? Sí. Que todos vayan al siguiente nivel. Eh, sí. Entonces, entonces eh, tal vez la recomendación es completar los ejercicios hasta llegar a un mínimo de 80%, aunque ya haya pasado esa semana, ¿ok? Ah, vale, ok, voy a ver si lo logro. Porque ahora solo es hasta el viernes. Espérate. Exactamente. Ah, encende. Ay, qué mono. Ok. Ok. Entonces voy a ver si puedo colocar todo al día para... Ok, no please. Tener... Ok, por favor, please. <risa> ok, ok, Jacqueline. Ok, thank you. Goodbye and good night. Bye.